Hello world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, at the end of this episode, I'll point you in the direction for tons more math video lessons. Our focus for this week is the question type, drum roll, matching item. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here's your problem this week. So pause the video, try this one on your own. And when you are ready to continue, press play so we can work it out. Actually, you work it out now and then come back to check your work with me, okay? Welcome back, fifth grade. So this one says to match each rectangular prism with its correct volume. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. That's right. Find the length times width or base and multiply the height. That's what we're going to do here. So we have two rectangular prisms. We're going to take this one first and find the volume. We need to remember that a volume, that the volume equals length times width times height or base times height. You actually don't need to remember that because you should have it on your reference sheet. But it's kind of a simple formula to remember here. All right, so we have a length of nine centimeters times a width of nine centimeters times a height of nine centimeters. Three dimensions here, so when we find the volume, it's going to be cubic centimeters. So nine times nine is what? 81, awesome times nine. So let me just bring that over here. That would be 729 cubic centimeters, which is right here. So you can mark that one. Next, finding the volume of the second one. Oh yes, this one now. Okay, so same formula here. Volume equals length times width times height. Groovy. The length is 11 centimeters. The width is what? Seven centimeters. That makes the height nine centimeters. 11 times seven equals what? 77, so 77 times nine. Let me bring that over. Seven times nine is 63. Woo, it's high up here in the clouds. Nice landing, dude. And nine times seven is also 63, plus six is 69, which would be 693 cubic centimeters, that first one right there. That is it for this problem, y'all. So go ahead and pause the video, jot down any notes, make any corrections that you need to make. And when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grownups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Now before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to make intentional time to practice. And when you're practicing, it's important to give your very best effort. I believe in you all, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourselves. And with that, I'll see you next time, world changers.